Hi all, just wanted to show you my 12 volt solar system that's come out of the caravan. I've brought it into the garage and uh, decided to use it um, to run a couple of fridges while we were not using the caravan because I'm not expecting to go away for some time. So we've got two solar controllers at the top which are being controlled by two solar panels outside and I won't show them just at the moment because that's not what this is really all about. Um, but it's a good idea to have two, one on each panel um, and they work independent, independently of each other um, and as you can see they go down into a couple of um, links that I will change out at some stage for fuses and then down through to my inverter, it's a 1500 watt 12 volt inverter um, and then I've got four 100 amp hour lithium ion batteries which at the moment they're connected up all in parallel to keep the voltage at 12 volts. Now I've read on the internet that this is not a good way to do it and by doing a few simple tests which I'll show you I'll show you why it's not a good idea and then um, I will swap these around and wire them up in a different configuration and um, I'll show you the difference from this now to what it is later. So on the main cable coming down you can see that at the moment it's putting in 6.7 amps from there down into the batteries. Now I've got the inverter turned off so we're not using any other power other than that and we'll put this clamp meter down on the cable coming from the first battery to the second battery and you can see that that's only 5.4 amps coming out of the the first battery to the second battery now if I keep going with that and we'll go from the second battery to the third battery you can see that that drops down to 3.9 amps and then from the third battery to the fourth battery we've only got two amps so you can see from that that every time you loop across from one battery to the other it drops the um, charge current to the batteries so they're saying that eventually that this will um, deteriorate your batteries and um, it's not a good idea so what I'm going to do next, when I get it reconfigured, I won't show you um, me changing everything around, but I'll bring you back when we get it reconnected in a different way and we'll just see how the results are from that. And um, yeah, and it should connect it up in such a way that there's a more even distribution of power through all four batteries. Okay, we'll bring you back shortly. Here's a wiring diagram of how I had the batteries set up before. As you can see they're labelled A, B, C and D. Now this is going to come in useful um, a bit later on down the track. Um, and it shows that they're all in parallel. And that is to keep the voltage at 12 volts for the system. So in a minute I will bring over the next page. And uh, we'll have a look at the new wiring configuration for that. Um, and also in the meantime, I've disconnected the batteries, being very careful not to short anything out. And um, what I'm going to do is put some tape over the, the negative terminals, because they're a flush mount terminal on these batteries, um, just so that when I start reconnecting the actives, they, or the positive terminals, they don't touch on accidentally onto the negative terminals. Otherwise you'll have a short circuit and it's not pretty. Um, okay, well I'll bring the other picture in and we'll have a look at how I'm going to connect the new batteries. Here we are with the new wiring circuit diagram. Um, as you can see the batteries are still labelled as A, B, C and D and what we're going to do is have a star point for the positive terminals on the positive battery C and the star point 
for the negative terminals on negative battery B. Now this is why we're going to label these up. So I'm going to put all this together, but uh, when you look at the way I've put it together, I've still used the same jumper cables between the old um, configuration and the new configuration, which means that they were all still the same size um, cabling and also the same length cabling, which is very important for the resistance um, between the batteries. And also I might just say that when you're doing this, you need to use all the same type of batteries, the same amp hour batteries and the same voltage batteries. Don't ever mix any different types of batteries together. So um, that's just a tip as well. Um, so now we've had a look at the wiring diagram. I'll take you out to my battery bank and I'll show you how I've connected up. And uh, you'll see that it... Um, it's slightly different to what's in the picture here, but uh, works very well. So here we are out with the battery bank. Um, as you can see, I've put A and B on the left hand side, and then onto the right hand side of those, we've got C up the top, and closest to me, D um, underneath it. Now, as that wiring diagram showed you, we've got the star point on battery C for the positive terminals, and we've got the star point on battery B for the negative terminals. And we've followed, I've followed that wiring diagram, um, and that's why I've labelled the batteries A, B, C and D, because you can easily then just work out where the other cables go. Um, again, it, with this configuration and the way the batteries are set out, we can um, use those, as I said, the original battery cables that were off the, off the four in a row um, and maintain the, the same length cables throughout with this configuration, which keeps everything balanced. It keeps the batteries with the charge input balanced and it keeps the um, output or the discharge balanced as well for all four batteries. So um, I hope this helps you if you're considering doing anything like this. It uh, certainly seems to be working very well at the moment when I connected them up and put the charger on. Every battery charged pretty much equally and before when I turned my two freezers on it um, maintained the the same level throughout the four batteries without any interference. Um, the only other thing I can say is when I've looked on the internet some people say that you can't do four batteries maximum you can do in parallel which this is still made in parallel configuration because all positive terminals connected together um, is three batteries. Um, this is just showing you that it can be done and um, it seems to be working quite well for me at the moment. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video.